In this example, I will show you how to calculate the height of a non-adjustable desk for um, working in an office or uh, uh, studying or a school desk, things like that. So let me show you the dimensions here. Um, so if I want to work comfortably in an ergonomic posture, I should have my desk set at my elbow height. So my elbow relax uh, on the desk uh, to do whatever work I want to do. Now, to, there is no direct seating height from the floor to the elbow. So we have to add the popliteal height in this number 11, uh, batok to the elbow height. So if we do that, I have extracted all these values here. So this is the male popliteal height, female popliteal height, and the male elbow height, and then female elbow height. And also I have converted them to all of these different uh, percentile. You can see another video I have shown how to convert that to different percentile. Now what you have to do in this case is to find the total uh, from the elbow to the floor. So this plus uh, the elbow height for male. So that's the male floor to the 450 50 percentile. Um, all sh in this case, we are designing for uh, 50 50. Now let's go through this process. So to accommodate more people here, we're not doing reach or feet. So 50 50 male and female. Uh, population body dimension is two body dimension basically popliteal and then plus the um, the elbow sitting height so that two body dimension is applied here and then user population male female we kind of said it in step one My computer is getting slower. So user population, male, female, we did it already, percentile. So for 50, 50 percentile, we kind of answer step three and four in step one. Now we have done, I extracted all these values. Now I have to find out the average of uh, male and female. So I'm gonna just do average between these and this value, male and female. So this is the height, uh, elbow height from the floor to the tabletop for 50-50 percentile. Now between male and female, the shoe, the average shoe height is 1.4. So the sum of these two would be 1.4. So it's getting really slow. These two. I got 27.4, so I need the desk height at 27 um, inches. Now I will also have to make sure that um, the tallest people also can fit underneath the table. So I have done that thigh clearance, so I have to make sure that it clears someone's thighs. If you look at this figure, um, you have this... Um, I can do to calculate the total uh, floor to the thigh. We can do popliteal height plus the thigh thickness and then get the dimension um, up to floor to the thigh. Now if you look at this, um, the calculation before, 27.38 inches, and then think of the table is about one inch thick, then you only have uh, 26 and a half inch uh, clearance under the table so maybe a very tall person cannot fit in under it so let's check that out so this is the popliteal height and these are the thigh thickness that i have extracted from that uh, table and then we can just simply um, just add the uh, sum of these two popliteal and the 
high clearance so that will give me the uh, distance between the floor and now in this case I have to do 95th percentile at least because I'm making sure the largest person fit so let's just write that so this is a fit situation I'm making sure that largest person can fit inside the desk uh, his leg or her leg and then body dimension is is popliteal plus the um, the thigh uh, clearance and then percentile if I'm fitting the largest person it's gonna be um, 95th percentile um, male it's just a male population in this case and then percentile 95th percentile and then use of table value I already extracted all these values now so let's calculate this for 95th it's not that it should be 95th percentile value like that and then we also need that value for uh, I don't need female because I'm just fitting the largest person so now that's the total so simply this value plus the shoe clearance uh, which is 1.14 uh, mil so the total now is uh, sum of this to 27 and a half so you need at least 27 and a half inches under the desk uh, to feed the 95th percentile male um, therefore think about the table material is about one inch thick so then um, to have a clearance of this you need at least 28 and a half inch of the uh, table top so if you look at this um, it about an inch short based on that um, uh, elbow height ergonomic calculation sitting relaxed mostly so you have to also make sure that people fit in the text so in this case this um, fitting the largest person tie underneath the table uh, should be followed now both of these cases is very close just an inch high so elbow will probably be still okay uh, but at the same time if you use this then you only have left like 26 and a half inches of clearance underneath if you consider the one inch thick table so you, you're losing about two inches so you will not be able to fit many tall people underneath that desk so uh, basically um, so if, if I add the thickness of the table then it's kind of get about 28.5 or so this is the typical length height of a non-adjustable desk I hope this explained uh, this complicated issue so a lot of time you may be thinking designing one you have to also consider reach and fit so um, some people you know be, it doesn't create that issue of a lot of excluding a lot of people by kind of the idea of the design is to include as many people as possible so uh, 50 50 percentile makes sense in most of the non-adjustable situation however if you have you also have to consider that if someone has to fit under the desk you know uh, check that dimension as well